because the technologies around us keep changing. So initially, it was all about Web 2.0, the World Wide Web, web. Now it's about Web 3.0, where artificial intelligence, etc., is coming into play. And then God knows how much farther it's going to be. So the question is, what do we teach our children? Because the world of technology keeps changing. And how do we teach it? So we have a philosophy at DeepRack. But in order to demonstrate the rationale behind the philosophy, I will ask a quick question. Uh, raise your hand if you know how to use a mobile application. And if I don't see hands, then I'm very worried. <laughs> <laughs> Now raise your hand if you know how to make a mobile application. So the difference we want to tackle is who designs or who makes versus who creates. And our philosophy with technology is we want to create an environment where children look at technology as things they can make, create, and design, and not just consume and use. So today you are going to experience little glimpses of how that looks like. But before, to further illustrate it, I want, I have some pictures on my, uh, on, on the screen. If you know how to create with this, I want you to give me a thumbs up, okay? So if you know how to create with a piece of paper, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> If you think you know how to create with cardboard, give me a thumbs up. Right, right? This is clay. If you know how to create, if you think you know how to create with clay, give me a thumbs up. Okay, good. Alright, so now I'm going to show some new materials. And this is when you give me a thumbs down if you don't know how to create, okay? Whatever this is. Whatever this is. If you think you know how to create with this, give me a thumbs up. It's okay. Okay. This is more what I had to use a picture for like smart lights, like when you walk into a room and lights turn up. If you know how to make or create with this, give me a thumbs up. Yes, not consume it. You all know how to consume it. But if you don't create it, give me a thumbs up. Okay. And then whatever that is, that's gold. <laughs> so today you will experience on various tables creation with all of the materials. You there will be some tables that create with cardboard, some tables that create with electronic circuit, smart electronics, and then some coding. The idea is never to ensure you become a master in making with clay or a master in coding. The idea is for you to be able to look around the world and bring in concepts that you learn and merge it with the creation tools. So there are four rules. We want to have a play hour and you will be given the choice to walk around and select a table of your choice. On the table, there will be a maker mentor. You want to say hi, maker mentors who will guide you through your design challenge. But they will only show the material, like how it works, but the rest is for you to figure out. What the challenge is, is mentioned on the table, and if you have any questions, you can ask the referent. Now there are certain rules that we want to follow. That one's getting sorry. So there are certain rules we want to follow during the play hour. The first one is the platform. Once you're on your table, there'll be a lot of noise, and which is good, I encourage that. It'll be very hard for me to get your attention back. Number two, oh, that is not good. Number three, when you are stuck, and you are going to be stuck, because you're going to have a lot of questions, how are you going to figure out? The first instinct would be to say, ma'am, I don't know what this works. So we're going to try and do something different. We're going to ask three to four people. So when you're stuck, you're first going to ask the people on your table, if they don't have the answer, you're going to ask at least two other tables for help. And if they don't have the answer, you're going to ask Google, which is on your laptop in front of you. And if Google doesn't have the answer, then I'm going to Okay? So ask three before me. Then, we are not always going to get the final product ready, which is fine. You're, there are going to be many times where you're going to fail, where you think of something, but the idea comes out different. We celebrate failure as long as it's failing forward. So 
So the more times you get stuck, the more times you get fail, the more times you fail, you're in the right path. So don't feel frustrated I'm going to break the toy because it doesn't work. It's a part of the design process. Don't break the toy. It's fine. Just take some time out. As long as you're failing forward, you're good here. And those are the three rules. We get there to the be fine. Remember, you can only use the materials on the table. Remember, there's about 25 minutes. 25 minutes for you to finish your task. Out of which the first five minutes will be the maker mentor demonstrating the tool, and then you get to play.เป็นการวาดรูปแบบ 3D ของลูกๆเหล่านั้นนะถ้าเราสามารถครีเอทคิดอะไรได้อันเนี้ยมันคือสิ่งที่ตอบโจทย์มากๆเลยพอปั้นไปเรื่อยๆแล้วก็ลองเสียบไฟก่อนตรงตาเนี่ยมันติดทีนี้เอ่อคุณคุณกริกก็สามีนะคะก็มองว่าเอ๊ะอยากรู้เ